artists hide after being dumped. Four things they are hiding from you. Hey there, fabulous folks. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a topic that many of you are probably familiar with. The aftermath of being dumped by a narcissist. You know that gut-wrenching feeling when a narcissist abruptly ends a relationship or leaves you feeling utterly bewildered. Well, it's all part of their twisted strategy to maintain control. But here's the kicker. Narcissists harbour some secrets that only reveal themselves over time. In today's feature, we're pulling back the curtain to expose some of these hidden truths that narcissists desperately try to conceal after dumping you. Spoiler alert, they're not quite done with you yet. So, if you've ever found yourself on the receiving end of a narcissist's breakup, or if you're simply intrigued by their behaviour, you're in for a treat. Get ready to uncover the shocking revelations that narcissists would rather keep under wraps. Let's jump right in. Number 1. The False Hope of Change The narcissist is a master of deception, always painting a picture of change even when their actions betray their true nature. Deep down, they remain unchanged, harboring toxic traits and oppressive behaviour. They may cunningly shift blame onto you, making you believe you provoke their misconduct. When they find a new source of selfish gratification, they go to great lengths to project an image of growth and contentment, aiming to discredit your perception of their harmfulness and justify their past mistreatment of you. But let's not be fooled by the facade. The narcissist hasn't undergone any substantial transformation. Their ultimate goal is to convince you that their new supply is superior to you, absolving them of accountability for past wrongs. If they attempt to come back, they'll stage a performance of remorse and change, promising to right their wrongs. However, these are nothing but empty words. The truth is, the narcissist never truly loved you and is incapable of genuine change. Their apologies and pledges to change are merely tactics to regain control over you. Once back in your life, the cycle of abuse will resume, escalating with each iteration until they discard you once more. It's crucial to the narcissist's narrative that you cling to the hope of change, as it perpetuates their sense of superiority and exonerates them from responsibility for their actions. Number 2. Secret Plans to Come Back The narcissist conceals their desire to reconnect after discarding someone. They have a knack for circling back to old wells of narcissistic supply, no matter how much time has elapsed since the breakup. Whether it's been days, months or even years, the narcissist is perpetually scheming to reunite with their former target. To the narcissist, people are mere possessions, and the fact that you were the one who ended things doesn't deter them from fantasizing about your eager anticipation of their return. They sow seeds of hope by leaving you in a state of confusion amidst the wreckage they've left behind. This calculated move is aimed at manipulating you into finding clarity and closure in their eventual comeback. Number 3. Strategies for Surveillance the narcissist conceals the fact that they continue to monitor your life even after they've ended the relationship. Their obsession with your every move persists, whether it's through in-person surveillance or online stalking, even after you've severed ties with them. They remain fixated on your well-being, activities and recovery from their abuse, as well as any new connections you form. Attempts to establish boundaries by cutting off communication or setting limits only prompt them to find alternative methods to maintain control over your life. This might involve feigning concern and reaching out to your friends and family to gather information about your whereabouts and activities. For a narcissist, the conclusion of a relationship does not signify the loss of control over you. They view you as their possession believing they have the right to maintain a presence in your life. Consequently, they persist in their efforts to stay connected with you, whether directly or indirectly, as a means to retain their grip on you. 
Number fourth, there is no closure. Evading closure is a classic narcissistic tactic. Those involved refuse to clarify or reconcile the end of the relationship, leaving you to navigate the murky waters of why, how, and when things went awry. By leaving you in a perpetual state of confusion and self-blame, the narcissist maintains control and prevents you from moving forward. They relish the paradynamic that emerges when you're left questioning your own actions and decisions. The absence of closure also serves their future agenda, enabling them to reappear at their convenience without being held accountable. By controlling the narrative and your emotions, they ensure they can resurface whenever it suits them, avoiding detection and manipulation. The silence and sudden disappearance following the discard only intensify your feelings of inadequacy and longing, ensuring they retain a hold over you. Betrayal by someone you once trusted deeply, whether a friend or family member, can inflict profound pain and confusion. It feels as though the ground has been pulled out from beneath you, leaving you questioning everything you believed about that person and yourself. The aftermath of betrayal often leaves you grappling with anger, hurt, and a profound sense of distrust that lingers long after the initial shock fades. During these times, self-doubt and confusion may cloud your thoughts as you attempt to reconcile the betrayal with your perception of the person who wronged you. However, it's crucial to recognize that their actions reflect on them, not on your worth or character. You have every right to feel hurt and angry, but remember that you are not alone in this experience. Seeking support and sharing your story can be instrumental in initiating the healing process, allowing you to rebuild trust in yourself and others. Your insights and experiences not only aid in your own healing, but also serve as a beacon of hope for others navigating similar challenges. Let's continue this conversation in the comments, where we can support and uplift each other on our healing journeys. If you found the information shared in this video helpful, please consider showing your support by hitting the like button, subscribing to our channel, and sharing this video with others who may benefit from it. Your support fuels our efforts to create content that resonates with you. In addition to the video, we're also offering additional resources to support you on your path. You can find a free book and information about one-on-one -on -one sessions linked in the description below. These resources are designed to provide valuable insights and practical tips to help you navigate and overcome the challenges of betrayal. Thank you for being a part of our community. Your participation and contributions are greatly appreciated. Take care of yourself this week, and may you be blessed with health and strength. Remember to prioritize self-care, and until next time, stay resilient. Hey there, fabulous folks. Thrilled to have you all here. Your presence truly brightens up our space. I'm eager to dive into this discussion and hear your insightful perspectives. Today, we're delving into the fascinating realm of 10 behaviors exhibited by destructive narcissists that can send empaths into a whirlwind of emotions. Before we embark on this journey, I want to emphasize a crucial point. The information I'm about to share is specifically tailored for individuals grappling with emotional abuse inflicted by narcissistic individuals. It's important to note that if you're in a situation involving danger or potential violence, prioritize your safety above all else. Seek immediate assistance from medical professionals, law enforcement, or other trustworthy authorities. Never jeopardize your well-being or that of your loved ones. Now that we've established this vital aspect, let's dive into the heart of the matter. Prepare yourselves to uncover the behaviors that can rattle even the most composed narcissist. Take notes as we explore each point. But wait, there's more. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell before we proceed. By doing so, you'll ensure you receive weekly updates packed with invaluable tips to enrich your life.
Let's embark on our creative journey through the labyrinth of narcissistic behaviour. Step 1. Avoid becoming entangled in their tumultuous conflicts. Narcissists thrive on chaos, reveling in drama while readily displaying their self-loathing and animosity. Their victims often serve as emotional punching bags, enduring the brunt of their verbal assaults. But what if you refuse to be ensnared in their battles, or take their attacks, criticisms and projections to heart? What if you simply meet their onslaught with an unflinching gaze? By refusing to be ensnared in their toxic web, you become a less vulnerable target. The narcissist, confronted with their inability to manipulate or dominate you, experiences a surge of anger and impotence, a victory for you. Their attempts to inflict emotional harm falter, leaving them unable to unleash their negative emotions upon you. Next on our list, disregard for their woes, number two. Have you encountered individuals so consumed by their own turmoil and falsehoods that they require a wake-up call? This encapsulates the narcissistic modus operandi. Employing various tactics to reshape your perception of them, they crave respect, control and dominance. But what if you simply couldn't care less? What if you demonstrate that their fabricated narratives hold no sway over your thoughts, emotions or actions? Imagine the bewilderment that will wash over them as they grasp the insignificance of their existence in your world. Consider the fury that will consume them when they realize their inability to influence your emotional state. As you focus on navigating your own path, pursuing your aspirations, cultivating happiness, and tending to your affairs, they lose their grip on you and spiral into chaos. So, let them witness the futility of their problems, their futile attempts to elicit your concern, and all the tricks up their sleeve. None of it holds sway over you. Third, show them to other people. Narcissists are very good at tricking people into believing what they want them to believe and making themselves look good. What if, though, their carefully crafted image fell apart in front of a crowd? What if you told them they were lying, exaggerating, or really not very good at what they do? Imagine the fear that flashes through their eyes when they are directly asked a question, and how they can't answer without giving away who they really are. Think about how upset they are when their flaws or mistakes are shown to everyone. In this way, you take away their power over you and show them as they really are. You and everyone else can no longer be fooled or tricked by them because everyone can see their real character. So, don't be afraid to talk to them directly, show them what they're really like in public, and refuse to put up with their lies and schemes. Don't back down. Let them know you can see through their tricks and lies. 4. Let them know who they really are. What would happen if you stopped believing their complicated web of lies and told them who they really were? What if you weren't going to believe their lies and let them control you any longer? You are basically telling them, I see through your lies and manipulative tactics, when you question their feelings and personal stories. You show that you won't let them trick you and that you can figure out what they really want, but how are you going to do this? When you hear a narcissist talking badly about someone or making up a story to make you feel sorry for them, don't be afraid to question their story and let them know that you will not let their lies go unchecked. Their game is thrown off because you are no longer playing, leaving them unsure of how to move forward. Number five, show that you don't respect them. What would happen if you treated them badly the way they treat you badly? What if you ignored them and made them feel like they didn't matter? Being rude and disrespectful to narcissists is a strong way to get back at them. By acting the same way they do, you show that you will no longer let them control or hurt you. You will no longer put up with their complaints or judgments. But how are you going to do this? First, don't let them take over the talk or make you feel bad about yourself. 
Stay strong and don't back down from challenges. Let them know that you won't stand for their selfish behaviour and that their attempts to scare you will no longer work. 6. Ignore the fact that they exist. Say you laughed or gave them a look that said, you can't be serious in response to their attempts to trick you. Not paying attention to them can weaken them. You are not giving them the attention and respect they want by not taking their selfish behaviour seriously. Their lies and tricks have no effect on you because you show them that. Do so carefully though and watch how they respond. When they make up complicated details and add to their stories, they might lose it when their efforts to trick others don't work. Seventh, being completely honest. Narcissists have a weak sense of who they are and are great at controlling other people. What if you told them the truth, no matter how painful it was? What if you told them without fear what they really needed to hear, even if it wasn't what they wanted to hear? Being brutally honest with narcissists is a strong way to find out what kind of person they are. You might see them fall apart when you tell them the cold, hard truth. Narcissists don't like hearing facts that hurt their inflated sense of self-importance, especially when those facts go against what they think about themselves. Be brave and say what other people might be afraid to say. Watch as their act falls apart when they are faced with the results of their deeds. Number 8. Completely turning off. Narcissists get pleasure from making up a false sense of who they are. But what if you sought past their facade and found out how weak, meaningless and useless they really are? By breaking through their veil of fantasy, you can take away their power. When you see how weak they really are and how empty their own sense of worth is, the game is over for them. They know that you can see through their act, which makes them look weak. They can't keep up the act that everything is okay any longer. Number 9 not caring. Ignoring that they exist can be a very effective way to make narcissists weak. You're giving them the fuel they need for their ego by not paying attention to them. This can drive them crazy and keep them from getting the approval they need so badly at the same time. It is worth the work, even though it is hard. Even if the quiet is unbearable, it is important to keep going. Believe me, the option is much harder than putting up with their attempts to control you. Don't pay attention to what they want and watch as their power slowly fades. 10. Get up and walk away. If you give up on them and walk away, it means that you are no longer connected to them in any way. It says, you don't matter anymore and I don't care. It means taking your attention, energy, care and worry off of their narcissistic supply. It means you don't want to talk to them anymore. I know this isn't a game or an easy job. I agree that it's not as easy as it sounds. But trust me when I say it is possible and very important for your health. I hope this conversation has taught you something useful. If it helped you, please consider clicking like and sharing the most important thing you learned. Also, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to be notified when new videos come out all week. Remember what you're worth and how to set yourself free. Thanks for watching. See you in the next movie. Let's embark on a journey through the enigmatic realm of narcissism, where navigating the treacherous waters proves to be a formidable challenge. Within this perilous domain, Manipulative individuals view others merely as pawns in their elaborate game of self-aggrandizement. Their actions are driven solely by the pursuit of their own ego-driven ambitions, with little regard for the consequences inflicted upon others. To them, we are but mere chess pieces on their board, devoid of individuality or personal aspirations. Narcissists are consumed by an insatiable thirst for control, and any deviation from their grasp is perceived as a direct threat to their dominance. The inability to exert authority over those close to them fuels a relentless anger within them, for it signifies a loss of power. 
This individual or entity becomes the bane of their existence, propelling narcissists to the brink of insanity. The mere notion of defeat, whether in a game, a professional setting, or a romantic entanglement, ignites profound discomfort within them, revealing the depths of their insecurity. Those who possess traits that directly challenge the narcissist's worldview are perceived as the ultimate adversaries, stirring up feelings of resentment and contempt. However, fear not, for even if you do not embody all these traits, maintaining your composure can cause the narcissist to lose interest, particularly if you exhibit at least two of these characteristics. Before we delve deeper into this captivating topic, I want to extend my heartfelt gratitude to all those who have dedicated their time to watch this film. To our new viewers, a warm welcome to our channel. Your presence here is truly appreciated. Today, our focus revolves around exploring the personality traits that irk narcissists the most. Understanding these traits will shed light on what triggers their descent into madness. Keep in mind that maintaining resilience and composure can strip a narcissist of their power and allure, even if you don't possess all of these traits. 1. Protectors of boundaries. The first requirement is people who stick to their limits and don't give in to narcissists' demands. If you think they're not strong enough, you will be wrong because they will strongly reject any attempts to control or manage their actions. People who are firm in their beliefs and refuse to give in are the worst enemies of narcissists because they ruin their lives. When narcissists try to get into these people's lives or time, they are met with fierce opposition that drives the narcissists crazy. 2. Warriors with no fear The second requirement is brave people who aren't afraid to face the narcissist head-on. They are not afraid to address the narcissist when it's necessary and call them out on being dishonest or deceptive. Their unwavering nature makes the ego very uncomfortable, so it's hard for them to find comfort in their company. No matter what form it takes, these people will not be scared off by the narcissist's actions. Sentinels who are not impressed. The third requirement is that the person is not impressed by the narcissist's showy ways of promoting themselves and is not trusting the front they put on. These people are slow to recognize or praise others and want proof of trustworthiness before getting close. They don't rush to make new friends or are open to meeting new people right away. It takes more than a cute smile or a perfect look to trust someone. Because of this, the narcissist feels like they are not important because they can't change or please these smart people. 4. Things that destroy ego. Fourth, people who make narcissists feel small and unimportant despite how great they think they are. Along with the other things listed, this person doesn't trust the narcissist and keeps them out of their inner group. They won't invite each other or accept offers from each other, so they won't get to spend much time together. They show they don't want to be around the narcissist by using the grey rock method, which means they avoid interacting with them and don't react much to their crazy behaviour. 5. The joy of being successful. Fifth on the list is someone who is more successful than the narcissist or has something they don't have. Think about a situation where one person is happily married and the narcissist is still single. It's also possible that the narcissist doesn't have any material things like a car or a house, while the other person does. Narcissists are jealous of others' success and hate it when others do better than them. Even small differences can make them angry. 6. Spirits that can't be tamed. The sixth requirement is people with free spirits who live their lives on their own terms and don't care what other people think. This character is the opposite of narcissism, so the narcissist can't stand being around them. Narcissistic envy is the feeling that these people have that they want to have the freedom that these people have naturally. Narcissists hate people who are always happy, 
because free spirits tend to be carefree and happy. Narcissists get angry when other people are truly happy and joyful because they know they can never have what those people have, which makes them act irrationally. Narcissists hate it when other people speak with more power because it makes them feel less important. People who aren't afraid to say when they're wrong are also seen as more valuable. Narcissists enjoy praising themselves and making up big achievements that they think are great. They like to complain, spread rumors, and make up interesting stories. They are naturally good at telling lies. The thing that narcissists fear most is meeting someone who is honest and able to get people's attention with their real personality. There is only one word that can describe everything, sincerity. All of the traits we just talked about are linked by this one thing. A real person is honest in every part of their life and follows a clear set of rules for behavior. When you deal with them, you get what you see. Narcissists, on the other hand, live in the world of lies and put their own lies onto everyone else. The narcissist wants to get rid of all real people because they see authenticity as a threat to their false life and want to get rid of it totally. When these people are around, the mask falls away and the truth comes out. Just like they think of themselves, the narcissist sees them all as fakes. The narcissist has to hide in their protected shell because they feel angry, frustrated and uncomfortable. The person who has these traits has a big advantage. They have a deep understanding of the selfish mind. The narcissist's first goal is to get out of a violent relationship. They know that they can't trick this person. And what's worse, they know that this person has the power to reveal their true nature. Narcissists often come up with a way to get away from people who fit this description or do anything else they can to avoid them because they don't want to become their target. Narcissists hate these people very much because they have the power of truth. Because they are honest with themselves and everyone else they meet, they create an atmosphere where honesty rules. The narcissist stays away from them because they are scary when they face the truth. These individuals possess all the traits that a narcissist lacks. They are consistently real, set clear limits, and are not afraid to confront others. They really give off an air of respect and awe, and they keep a healthy view of life and themselves. Additionally, narcissists have no control over their ability to spot and avoid dangerous people. Narcissists' worst nightmares come true when they meet people with these traits. The narcissist grows a strong dislike for them because they can't change or control them. They try to plant doubt and suspicion in the person they want to target in the hopes that some of them will grow or that they can find someone who shares their bad view of that person. That's the end of today's journey. Please leave your questions or thoughts in the area below for comments.